Hello my wolf pack and welcome back to another episode of our Pokemon competitive guide video. So today we're covering Victini. Victini is a really fun Pokemon to use. It's got base 100 stats across the board, meaning one, it can live a few hits because it has the really good HP at base 100 and pretty good defenses at base uh, 100 on both of them. And it also has the ability to be used as either a physical attacking Mon or a special attacking Mon. And also having base 100 speed means it does outspeed a lot of different Pokemon as well. Uh, sometimes you do need to chuck a Choice Scarf on it, especially if you're facing things like Cocos or, uh, I don't know, even a Lolan Persian could be quite scary for things like Victini. Uh, but if you chuck a Choice Scarf on it, that makes things a lot easier. Now, before we get started today, I've got three sets, but if you scroll down, click that like button and also that subscribe button if you haven't done so already, it would really help me out and I'd really appreciate it. Okay, so... Victini, first set I've got is a Choice Scarf set. As I said, chucking a Choice Scarf on Victini can work wonders. Now, sometimes what you might want to do is just come in with Victini, uh, have that Choice Scarf, so you're probably going first, and then use V Create. Now, V Create is a very powerful fire type attack, base 180 uh, power, 95% accurate, so it does have the chance to miss, but that's 1 in 20, so uh, possibly. Uh, a little bit concerning, but at the same time, it's very, very low chance to miss. Uh, and it's also boosted by stabs. You get 1.5 times on that attack power, which is absolutely huge. The downside is it does lower your defense, special defense, and your speed by one. So normally, if you click one V create, uh, you're going to go back down to your normal speed. If you click a second, second V create, you're going to be outsped by a lot of different Pokemon. So I would suggest the maximum of clicking V create twice in this scenario and then switching out into a different Pokemon. Maybe something as Death Fodder um, if it's low on HP, for example, and then you can bring Victini back in with its uh, defenses and its speed back to normal and it can start clicking V create again. Its ability is Victory Star, so this Pokemon as allies have their accuracy multiplied by 1.1, so you don't really need to worry about the V-Create. Uh, the V-Create, 1.1 on 95%, uh, that actually takes you up to 100%, so yeah, that is perfectly fine. The second attack I've gone for is Bolt Strike. Now, Bolt Strike is obviously going to be really good against Water-type Pokemon because you are obviously weak to Water-type Pokemon. But it has a 20% chance to paralyze the target as well, which can be really handy, especially if you're running a slower team or if there is something like, as I said, in the Lowland Persian, which is around. If you can slow that down, that can actually have a massive effect. It's also base 130 power, accuracy increased by 1.1, so that's an extra 8.5% there. So about 94%, just under, uh, in the accuracy there. And that means you've got a 6% chance to miss, so it's not the worst accuracy in the world. Um, just obviously be cautious. It could potentially miss. The next move, I've gone for a powerful physical psychic type move in Zen Headbutt. Now this combines quite nicely with the Choice Scarf because it increases uh, the likelihood you get a uh, flinch. There's a 20% chance to flinch if it hits, 90% uh, accuracy, so it goes up to 99% accuracy which means it's going to hit 99 times out of 100. Um, obviously there is the caution that it could potentially miss but it's very unlikely to do so. And with your increased speed having the flinch capabilities because if you were slower, you wouldn't be able to get that flinch. But most times you're going to be faster, especially with that Choice Scarf, because a lot of really fast Pokemon don't run Choice Scarf unless they're specifically planned for certain Pokemon. So, for example, Choice Scarf Victini might be planned for in a Draft League format. We've then got U-Turn. Now, U-Turn can work quite nicely, uh, especially if you've, your uh, Choice Scarf has been knocked off or it's gone for some reason. You can U-Turn, you can get out of there, you can do chip damage on some different Pokemon, breaking some sashes, uh, and also just chipping down on damage, especially things like Dark Types, which is super effective against, uh, and obviously you're weak to. So that can work really nicely. If you've just switched in and you're predicting your opponent switch into a dark type, for example, uh, you can then just U-turn out of there and get the upper hand, which is just really handy. So U-turn can work really well on these choice style sets. And if you get knocked off, because knockoff is still somewhat common, that U-turn can still be a really good piece of utility. Moving on to EVs, so EVs I've gone for max attack and max speed with a jolly nature, so more speed, less special attack, and four EVs in special defense. Now you can run this as jolly or adamant, so adamant's the, max, the plus attack minus special attack. I personally would probably go for jolly just because of the chance of another base 100 speed Pokemon being 
uh, Choice Scarfed, there is that chance. I feel that base 100 speed Pokemon do frequently run Choice Scarf as an option, and normally they will then go into the neutral speed nature. But if you go into that plus speed nature, you make sure you outspeed it or at least speed tie it, so there's a 50% chance that you will manage to take or manage to go first, which means you're not taking damage, hopefully, if you take it out. So yeah, go for the max speed possible, I think would work slightly better, but you can go for the max attack possible if you want to instead. Now, I will say you can replace the Choice Scarf with the Choice Band in this set. It's perfectly fine to do so. Um, obviously, I would then recommend definitely going for the max possible speed uh, to allow you to outspeed as many Pokemon as possible. Moving on to the second Victini, I have got a special set because, as I said, it can be run as a physical sweeper or a special sweeper. And I've put the heavy juicy boots on here just because, obviously, things like stealth rocks and spikes are going to start racking up damage on you. You're weak to the stealth rocks, so you take 25% uh, automatically. So coming in with the heavy juicy boots on can be really helpful. But you can go for things like choice specs if you want to just boost up that power and not worry too much about uh, the damage that you might be taking again victory star is the ability because that's the only ability that we have but move wise we have got blue flare powerful fire type special attack base 130 power that accuracy again goes up to about 94 percent and a 20 percent chance to burn at the target which can be really handy especially if you don't have many defensive pokemon on your team burning a physical pokemon halving their attack power meaning you're taking a lot less damage now, if Blue Fair isn't, isn't going to work for you, we can go for Scorching Sands. Scorching Sands, naturally 100% accurate, and it's got a high power ground type attack. This can hit things like Rock types, super effective damage, uh, which are somewhat common in the metagame. And 20% chance to burn the target, oh sorry, 30% chance to burn the target. As I said, really, really good to be able to burn them. Half the attack power of this Pokemon. And this is just an alternative to the fire type burning capabilities. Uh, because you might not be able to do that for whatever reason. So for example maybe your water types come in. I then put a second fire type attack on here. Just in case you want to go for the maximum possible accuracy. I've gone for Searing Shot. Which is 100 power, base 100 power and 100% accurate. And a 30% chance to burn the adjacent Pokemon. So that's what I'm go for here's the idea that we've got the blue flare which is more powerful but has the chance to miss and then i've put searing shot on here as well just in case you're worried that it's going to miss but you still can get enough damage to potentially take out that pokemon so that's my idea working with that again if you run choice specs with this that'll increase the power of that as well and finally, I've gone for a stab psychic type attack in Psyshock. Psyshock goes on the defense rather than the special defense. So let's say a Blissey comes in, for example, or something with really high special defense. That means that you can hit it with that Psyshock and really deal it a lot of damage. Uh, because typically, if they have high special defense, they have lower defense. That's not the case for all things, but things like Blissey, that Psyshock is going to do a lot of damage to it. And again, stab, powerful move, and it's 100% accurate, so you don't have to worry about it missing. EVs gone for max special attack and max speed with a timid nature, so more speed, less attack, and four EVs in special defense. As I said, I'd recommend always going for that maximum possible speed here. Again, you can run this with possibly a choice scarf version, so you might want to go for the modest, um, but that is something you can consider. You could possibly even consider going max HP, max special attack with a um, modest nature on this, so more special attack, less attack, and that would allow you to be able to burn some Pokemon and possibly live on the physical hits. Obviously, if there are a lot of special Pokemon, do be very considerate of that because that could cause you some problems. Moving on to the third Victini, I've got a bit more of a similar style. So again, we've got, we've got Choice Band on this one, so increasing our attack power uh, by 1.5 times and then again v create v create is just a fantastic move to use along with a choice band not many things stand a chance uh, from a v create from victini you've then got u-turn again as i said u-turn is a really good utility we've got trick in this scenario we can get rid of our choice band and potentially uh, give ourselves a different item which might be beneficial maybe something like a life orb so we get the variability for our moves um, or even something like leftovers or putting a choice band on a hard hitting special pokemon for example or a pokemon that needs to set up or a pokemon that's designed to recover that can work really nicely if you put the choice band on that because it limits what they can then do and then finally we have zen headbutt which is a powerful 
uh, psychic type attack again obviously uh, boosted by stab now you have got a couple of other different options that you can run here so you've got like the bolt strike again you've got things like brick break you've got facade as a possibility uh, just in case you get for example paralyzed you've got the possibility of fusion bolts power up punch you could run a set on that one as well uh, even quick attack thunder punch uh, lots of variability here and lots of different moves that you can actually use uh, on Victini so it can hit really hard not to mention on the special side you've got things like Shadow Ball you've got Thunderbolt for example uh, you've even got Psychic, Scorching Sands as I said uh, lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of different options um, and you can just make multiple different variants of this set I just want to show you a few things off could even potentially run more of a defensive style set with Will-O-Wisp maybe but uh, Will-O-Wisp maybe Baton Pass on it as well or maybe U-Turn but uh, I didn't really want to go into that because I don't think that is hugely uh, what Victini's niche is. If you want to go for that, then you can. Obviously, you've got things like Encore as well, uh, which can allow for you to help. And you've even got Expanding Force if you want to run a Dynamax set, set up the Psychic Terrain, possibly have the uh, Terrain Extender or a Psychic Seed on there. Uh, that would allow for you to be able to set up that Psychic Terrain for the Expanding Force to do uh, 1.5 times power, which is really good. EVs for this final set was maximum attack, maximum speed, jolly nature, so more speed, less special attack, and four EVs and special defense. As you're on the choice band, I'd recommend going maximum possible speed, or you could go for the max HP, max attack if you wanted to, but I think this one works slightly better with that max speed, especially if you're going for the V creates. Anyways, that is all for today, so I hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, please do like, subscribe, and comment. Let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Anyways, I'm out of here, so it's a good one, and I'll see you soon.